first guest, let's get to a review. Absolutely. What well, have you brought for us? I've got something very special to start us off with since it's a late, late night, for me at least, okay. uh, midnight, um, this past dinner time. Yes, right? yes. So I went right to dessert. 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 We're okay. going to start with dessert, guys. I, um, I think that's fitting. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to wow. partake in several different chocolate ice creams. Several, okay. This is Starbucks Mocha Frappuccino Ice Cream, which I have never had before. You're kidding. Never. And I'm wow. a Starbucks guy. Wow, that's great. Well, ooh, ooh Talenti Gelato. Belgian that? milk chocolate gelato. Have you had that? I have not. Wow! That's, I didn't even research this, folks. <coughs> this is all pure luck. Okay, oh, now, we got this one. one. Surely you I have, have had this. This is the Ben and Jerry's Chocolate Fudge Brownie Fro Yo. So, okay, so this is interesting. We're going ice cream, gelato, Fro Yo. What else do we got? Never had this. <laughs> Gifford's Swiss Chocolate Handmade Premium Ice Cream. There you go. Now, is that here's, it? Yeah, but here's the point, though. Here's the deal, all right? Okay. Everything I've given you so far, premium. I mean, these are top of the line ice creams here. I, I can tell. All right? We want, here's our point. We're going to see how it compares to store brand chocolate ice cream. I, I don't see what you're going here. If there's any real difference here. This is the Harris Teeter brand. Hey, you blocked Chocolate. Me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was that intentional? Like cheese. Uh, chocolate premium ice cream from Harris Teeter. And Harris Teeter, for those of you who are not familiar, is a uh, local here to North Carolina, but available in, I believe, South Carolina and Virginia primarily. I think it's in the southeast. Um, right? yeah. Southeast yeah. and premium ice cream. Okay, so what should we ta taste? Because we only have an hour, Shane. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's right. So I uh, also brought along these spoons. Thank these you. Legit spoons. Very nice. Not plastic, because you can't be eating these uh, with plastic spoons. Okay. These are, All right. These Good. are high end. So. Um, why don't we go ahead and start with uh, the Ben and Jerry's? Everyone knows the Ben and Jerry's, so we can open up a little bit of Ben and Jerry's here. Okay. I'm just going to toss this over here for now. <laughs> ben and Jerry's Fro Yo. Yeah, and the other thing about this is I thought we'd do this as kind of an offshoot. Um, this is Fro Yo, as you mentioned. So yes. It's the yogurt yes. Um, stuff. Um, trying to see if yogurt is better than or as good as regular ice cream. Okay. And comparing it, because you're very good about this in all your shows, is the, the value. Nutrition. The nutritional value. Now, how much are these roughly, ballpark? Um, five so, or six bucks, right? Oh, yeah. A Each. Piece. Yeah, right. five or six bucks. So that'd be good in, in uh, prices, right? The, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, so these do range five to six bucks each, which is a good point. Okay. Two dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Now look so at the size difference. Double in size, half the price. That is a twenty-five percent swing, or four hundred percent swing. We'll set that there for now. Okay. So let's go ahead and dig into the the frozen. Oh, and so again, we want to see if there's a difference between frozen yogurt. Smells you know? like that nice frosty chocolate flavor. Now, one thing I do want to point out is, for most of you, you know that. I am lactose intolerant, so thank you, Shane, leading into 24 hours of review by bringing me ice cream for the very first hour. I'm not going to be here 24 hours. <laughs> um, mm. Here's a problem I have now. First of all, another reason why I buy ice cream, because mm -hmm. ice cream was banned from my house. Okay. Because, because typically, ice cream only comes in these convenient single-serve containers. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I cannot have ice cream in the house. Okay. But some people have said, you know... If you, why don't you just do frozen yogurt or something like that mm -hmm. instead of ice cream? For me, I don't know. There's an aftertaste to frozen yogurt you exactly. said that I don't like. It's not a good substitute for me. See, I like it, but there is an aftertaste. There is. Um, although this is way chocolate, law chocolate to your mm -hmm. God. <laughs> Seven minutes into it. <laughs> That's right. This is uh, this is very chocolatey. Yeah, it is. Um, more chocolatey than some other froyo I've had. Yeah. TCBY. Oh, yeah. More chocolate in TCBY, yeah. and that's the country's best yogurt. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, and the chips are good, mm -hmm. or the, the brownie pieces, mm -hmm. but you're right. It's immediately, you are hit with this yogurt-type aftertaste, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure I dig it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's all that we got in the freezer, and I'm, I'm we... watching my girlish... Girlish, this is this is the universal symbol for girlish figure. Mm -hmm. I'm watching my girlish figure. Oh, you're not the only one watching that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. So that's you in the window. 
Um, I think this is decent for Froyo. What would, what would you give that out of five star? Um, I would probably give this. Um, I'd probably give this. And keep in mind what I think about frozen yogurt. I'd probably give this close to four stars. I agree. You know. I, I agree. I, that's good. But what would you expect from Ben and Jerry's? So at least a three. I mean, that at, at worst is a three and a half star. Yeah. If it had a film of ice, it'd be three and a half stars. Yeah. But now, it's but good. now the payoff here yeah. is um, the nutritional value, right? Two and a half grams of total fat. That is awesome. Now yeah. let's compare that to Giffords. Giffords is 20 grams of total fat. <laughs> now, would you deal with an aftertaste for one tenth of the of the fat content? I might. I don't know. But let's actually be fair about it and let's, see. Let's go for I mean, it. Giffords. Let's see if this one actually. Now, um, here's the thing about Giffords. Uh, it, I've never had it before, but the color scheme kind of throws me off. Whoa. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Look at that. That actually does not look appealing to me. No. Nope. It almost looks like an icy. I'm digging right in now. Yeah. Swiss chocolate, though. Swiss chocolate. Keep that in mind. Tastes better than I thought it would, based on how it looks. Mm -hmm. um, it's okay. I do you know? Can you tell the difference between Swiss chocolate and non-Swiss chocolate when it comes to flavoring? Not really. There's a little bit of milkiness to it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, but but it's we might okay. be taken. We might be taken back too because this is ice cream, and we just had frozen yogurt. True. So it could. It may not taste. I might be more picking milky. up the milkiness yeah. of the cream. Yeah. Uh, I like this one better. I gotta tell you, I think I do too. Yeah. Um, I'd give that a three star. Yeah, yeah, probably right in right. there. Let's go to number three. So, all right. Three star for Giffords. Or Giffords. All right. Were. This is uh, obviously an old standby. Everyone knows okay. about. Starbucks Mocha Frappuccino Ice Cream. Now, I've had a Mocha Frappuccino. Mm -hmm. I've had Starbucks ice cream before, but I've not had this brand of Starbucks ice cream. Now, first mm -hmm. off, this looks like hand churned. And look at that. I, I like mean, when it sticks like that. And it I like the up. word churn. <laughs> this is like marbleized. It's um, it's almost you know what it's like. It's like a cream cheese brownie. That's what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it does. It does. Mmm. See, that's not fair, because um, it's got coffeeness to it. Mm. Starbucks. Uh huh. Mmm. <laughs> I like that. Mmm. Thirteen grams of total fat. You know, I like this, but I don't think it's fair to compare it to those two. Probably isn't, but they don't have a regular straight up chocolate. Okay. You know, so I got as chocolatey as I could. I give that a four and a half star, no question. I would I, like I would too. That's a that's a great ice cream. Great ice cream. Really, really good. Alright. All right. Number four. Taliente. Talenti. Talenti. <laughs> Whatever. Talenti. What are you, Italian? I am not. <laughs> Look at this one. This one's a screw top. Ooh. Packaging Ooh. is definitely... Wow. This is definitely premium packaging. Okay, now, if you didn't know, if this didn't feel cold, and you didn't read gelato, you would think that this was mousse. Yeah. You're right? right? At a fine establishment. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, now, gelato... Um, Mike, do you want some of this? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see Mike over here, and he's like... It, it's like just <laughs> salivating. <laughs> Whoa! Belgian milk chocolate. That is freaking amazing. Wow! <laughs> that is amazing. I don't think I've ever had something like that so rich and so creamy in my mouth. That <laughs> Not after dark. <laughs> That's great. That is really, really good. Mm. You yeah. like that? Mm. That was excellent. Guys, I was this coming. Wow. This Valenti, oh, sorry, Talenti. <laughs> Talenti Gelato, like Belgian milk chocolate. This is 10 grams of total fat You're on this. Kidding. Well, it's, it's gelato. Gelato, yeah. What I will say That's is, um, I, I don't care how much this would be, I'd pay 12 bucks for this. No way, really? Th it's that good. I'd I, pay 12 bucks I think for it was that. five. I think it was five bucks. It's amazing. Where did you get that? Here's Steve. Steve? Yeah. I love it. It's this great. is really excellent. Even I mean gelato and that's that's also that's another alternative. Gelato yep. to full ice cream. Yep. And I would definitely do this. 
I would take, if someone said, you know, I've got to watch my fat, I'd, I would do this. I would take that over ice cream any day. Oh, easily. This was excellent. Really, really easily. good. Oh, my God. Amazing. Mm. All right. All right. Let's do generic. Here we are. No. <coughs> Is it, here's a question. Is it really worth it? Right? So, when you're shopping for ice cream, I'm going to show you something to open that up with. Pardon me. It's going to be the oh, first great. freezer burns dental marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, there I really go. hope not everyone brings ice cream, Brian McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not going to be pretty. Alrighty. Jeez, that looks a lot like the, 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 the stuff Starbucks. just opened. Well, no, the Taliente, look at that. Now, I do want to say, uh, hey, Wayne Sutton, who is here early. That kind of looks like a QR code, Wayne. Oh. It's not, but it looks like it. Just want to, just want to say it. All right. That's pretty decent. Yeah, it is. Pretty decent. Kind of mousse-like. Mm-hmm. Like it's got mm -hmm. a air of fluffiness to it. But check this out. Okay. Just regular ice cream. Yeah. Not light. Yeah. Wow, seven grams of seven total fat. Seven grams of fat. That is not bad at all. Yeah. Huh. That's that's really good. Did now, you know? it's good. Not much taste compared to the right. other ones. It's not as deep. Mm -hmm. It's not as deep. It's way better than Gifford. Mm -hmm. um, I, I still think Starbucks shouldn't even be in the mix. And honestly, the Ben & Jerry's Froyo shouldn't be in the mix. Mm -hmm. because, it, because the Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie ice cream would totally slam this. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, for the half the price and double the size, I think it's not bad. Yeah. Now, if you're gonna if you're gonna Sunday this, is that a, can I use Sunday as a verb? Why not? Okay. If you're gonna Sundayify it, um, like you're gonna just mask it with whipped cream, cherries, hot fudge, caramel, yeah. peanut butter, pineapple juice, you know, all that good stuff, on a waffle cone. Yeah. With sprinkles, that's yeah. that's a chocolate that's ice cream. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Go yeah. volume. Yeah, and it, this, like I said, it was it was two for five, so two dollars and fifty cents. Can't beat that. Pretty good and low in fat too for regular ice cream. Can't beat that at all. So that was that was excellent. I think uh, I think though far and away that one is that one ruled. There is no question. This Talenti gelato is. Uh, that is magical. And I think probably, far and away, this is probably our biggest disappointment. Yeah, I agree. You know, and when you look at the blue, the quality of the blue color, I mean, it does look kind of cheap. Yeah. But it's not. That's but it just like point. five or six bucks, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And with that much, 20 grams, 20 grams of, fat, of fat. So it was the worst for over. you from a fat content standpoint. Just as expensive and bad. So what I would say is, to answer your original question, Shane, yep. should this generic be in the mix? Yes, absolutely should be in the mix. Yeah. But think quantity. Like, honestly, I would buy this for my wife and I, mm -hmm. and buy this for my kids. I would buy this for just me, <coughs> and then I would hide this for my wife and save it for later. Okay, great. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I would say avoid Giffords. Look for Talenti and be okay with Harris Teeter.